गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू टूडेज मैथ्स क्लास सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर डूइंग सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ नंबर्स एंड बिफोर दैट वी हेड सीन एडिशन ऑफ नंबर्स राइट सो इन सब्ट्रैक्शन वॉट डिड वी सी वी फर्स्ट सो वॉट इज सब्ट्रैक्शन सो सब्ट्रैक्शन इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ ऑपरेशन और अ प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू नंबर्स और क्वान्टिटीज एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय अ माइनस साइन all right so when you are subtracting two numbers the larger number is called the minuend the smaller number that is which you subtract okay uh, is called the subtrahend and the answer that you get is called the difference of two numbers so the larger number is called the minuend the smaller one is the subtrahend and the answer is your difference then we saw how to do subtraction without regrouping so in subtraction without regrouping we arrange the numbers vertically in their place value table and then we subtract the ones first then the tens then hundreds then thousands and then 10000s so we subtract each place value starting from ones okay so this is subtraction without regrouping then subtraction with regrouping what we do here first we arrange the numbers vertically in their place value chart then we start with ones now when you see that you have to subtract a larger number from a smaller number then what you do is we borrow one from the next place so if you are subtracting ones place and you see that the uh, number we are subtracting is smaller okay so then what we do we borrow from the tens place then you keep on borrowing from the next place until you have a number which you can minus from a larger number from a smaller number okay so you keep subtracting like that so that was subtraction with regrouping okay so when you can't subtract a number you borrow from the next place okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to study estimation of sum and differences so before that we'll see uh, we also learned two methods so first is a normal method of regrouping and the second method was whenever you have a number with uh, your minuend is with too many zeros what you can do is you can subtract one from the minuend and the subtrahend subtract one from both of them and the numbers that you get those you can easily subtract uh, with without regrouping and you'll get your difference okay so that was the method that we learned so today's class will be studying estimating of sum and difference what do you mean by estimating sum and difference now we know we have seen in the first chapter numbers what is rounding of numbers okay so when you when they tell you to estimate the sum or difference of numbers what you do you round off the given number to the nearest tens or hundreds or thousands whatever they have told you to do and then find the sum or difference of the rounded off numbers so that will be your estimate sum or difference so when we do need to estimate the sum or difference of two numbers we round the we round of the given numbers to the nearest tens or hundreds and then find the sum or difference okay we'll see by uh, how to do it with few examples now here they have told estimate the sum of 3248 and 5163 by rounding off to the nearest tens also find the actual sum now here they have told estimate the sum of these two numbers by rounding off to nearest tens so first let us round off the numbers to nearest tens so 3248 when you round it up to nearest tens you know that you have to look at the ones place now in ones place here we have 8 now 8 is greater than 5 so what we'll do we'll add 1 to the tens place so tens place 4 is there so that becomes 5 okay and the 8 is replaced by 0 so it is 3 2 5 Zero. Similarly, five thousand one sixty three. Now we'll look at the ones place, which is three. Three is less than five, so tens place will remain as it is, and three is replaced by zero, so that is five thousand one hundred and sixty. Now, when you add three thousand two fifty plus five thousand one sixty, you'll get eight thousand four hundred and ten. So this eight thousand four hundred and ten is called the estimated sum. Okay, actual sum is nothing but when you add the original numbers, that is three two four eight and five one six three. So when you add that, you'll get eight thousand four hundred and eleven. Now, if you see the estimated sum and the actual sum, you'll see that they are quite nearby, right? They are nearby. There is not much difference between the two answers. Okay, so this is how to find estimated sum. Let's see a few more examples. 
Now estimate the difference of 6518 and 4352 by rounding off first to nearest tens and then to nearest hundreds. First to nearest tens. 6520 when you round it off to nearest tens. 518 when you round it off to nearest tens what you'll get so now 8 is in ones place so 8 is greater than 5 so we'll add 1 to 1 which is there in tens place so that becomes 6520 okay and 4352 which is there now this number you uh now here 2 is there in ones place so the tens digit remain as it is so 4350 so to find the difference between that you'll subtract 6520 and 4350 so when you subtract that you get an answer of 2170 okay you get 2170 then we round off the near numbers to nearest 100 so 6518 when you round it off to nearest hundreds now hundreds they are telling so we'll look at tens place in tens place we have one so how do you round it off you round it off as 6500 and 4352 is rounded up to nearest hundreds as 4400 because in tens place five is there and whenever five or greater than five is there we add one to hundreds place so 4400 now subtracting 6500 and 4400 so when you subtract these two numbers you get 2100 correct so when we rounded estimated the difference with nearest tens we got 2170 with nearest hundreds you'll get 2100 okay then the actual difference of the two numbers is 2166 all right so now when you actual difference is nothing but subtracting the numbers as they are without rounding them off so 6518 minus 4352 when you subtract them you'll get 2166 now which is nearer to 2166 that is uh, estimated difference to the nearest 10 is nearby to the actual value so when you see estimating any number to nearest tens gives us a more accurate value than rounding off to nearest hundreds okay so thus the routing off to nearest tens gives a better estimate all right okay so this is how you find estimate of sum and difference of numbers now we'll see a few problems which are there in your textbook so exercise 2.3 on page 109 so you see you have four questions over here so we'll solve all these uh, we'll solve the first three questions and question four will be will be for your homework okay so let's start with question one estimate the sum by rounding off to the nearest tens so first question 622 plus 4350 7 so to find the estimated sum to rounding off to nearest tens first we round off the numbers to nearest tens so 622 when you round it off to the nearest tens what do you get you'll get 620 okay and 4357 when we round off to nearest tens now nearest tens means we'll look at one's place in one's place we have seven which is greater than one so we'll add one to the tens place so it becomes 4300 60 okay now to find the estimated sum you'll add these rounded off numbers so when you add the numbers you'll get 4980 now they have not asked to find the actual sum but i am just showing you how to do it so uh, to find the actual sum you'll add 6, 622 plus 4357 so when you add these numbers off you'll get the answer 4979 okay that is 2 plus 7 9 then 5 plus 2 7 6 plus 3 9 and 0 plus 4 4 now when you see 4980 and 4979 are quite nearby to each other right so the estimated sum and the actual sum are quite nearby to each other so this is how you do the first problem now moving on to the second problem 3286 plus 2156 so 3286 first we'll round it off to the nearest tens so when you do that now we'll look at one's place one's place here is six right one's place over here is six now this six when you round uh the six is greater than five so since the 6 is greater than 5, we'll add 1 to 
8. So when you add 1 to 8, it becomes 9 and the 6 is replaced by 0. Okay. And the 6 is replaced by 0. So that becomes 3290. And then 2156. Now in 1's place, I have 6. And in 10's place, I have 5. So 6 is greater than 5. So we'll add 1 to this 5. So that becomes 2130. Sorry, 2160. Okay, and when you add these two numbers, you will get 5450. You get 4550. So that is your estimated sum. Now, to find your actual sum, you'll add the numbers as they are. So 3286 plus 2156. Okay, so when you add them, you'll get the answer 5442. Now, when you see there is not much difference. So, here it is 5450 and here it is 5442. Okay, so this was question number 2. That is question B. Now, question number C. 478 plus 3696. So, rounding off these numbers to the nearest tens. Now, 40, uh, 478. Now, round off to nearest 10, 8 is there in 1's place. 8 is greater than 5. So, we'll add 1 to 7 and replace 8 by 0. So, that becomes 480. Then, 3696, when you round it off to nearest 10, now in 1's place, we have 6. So, rounding off that to nearest 10's, 6 is greater than 5. So, we'll add 1 to 9. So, when you add 1 to 9, you'll get 10. Okay, so that becomes 10. We carry it over to 6. That is in hundredth place. So it becomes 3700. So when you add these two numbers, you will get 4180. Okay, so to find the actual sum, you will add, add the actual numbers and you get 4174. Okay, so you add and get 4174. So that was question number one. Now moving on to question number two in your textbooks. So here, round off the nearest hundreds to nearest hundreds and estimate the sum and the difference. So we have to round off to nearest hundreds and estimate sum and difference both. Since we have not asked to find the actual sum and difference, we will not calculate it. We will just calculate the estimated and the estimated sum and estimated difference. Alright, so the first problem A1 here is 5385 and 2477 so first we'll do estimated sum before that we'll round off the numbers so 5385 rounding it off to nearest hundreds now hundreds means we'll look at tens place now tens place here is 8 all right so 8 when you round it 8 is greater than 5 so we'll add 1 to 3 so that becomes 4 so that is 5400 Okay, it is 5,400. Then 2,477. Same way we'll look at tens place. Tens place here is 7 which is greater than 5. Okay, so we'll add 1 to 4. So that becomes 2,500. Okay, so 5,400 minus 2,500 plus 2,500 gives you 7,900. Okay, it gives you 7,000. 900 then uh, to find the estimated difference you'll subtract the same number that is 5400 minus 2500 so when you subtract that you will get 2900 as your answer so estimated sum is 7900 and estimated difference is 2900 all right so question b 7138 and 4312 so here to find the estimated sum first we'll round off the number to nearest hundreds so rounding on off to nearest hundreds 7138 okay so that becomes 3 is there in tens place so since it's less than 5 it will rem 1 will remain as 1 so it is 7100 and 4312 when you round it off to nearest hundred it will remain as 4000 it will become 4300 Okay, and when you add these two numbers, that is 7,100 and 4,300, you will get 11,400. So, estimated sum is 11,400. Now, when the estimated difference, you will subtract the rounded off numbers. So, 7,100 minus 4,000. 
300 now 0 minus 0 will be zeros only then 1 minus 3 you cannot do so you will borrow 1 from 7 so that becomes 11 minus 3 8 and 6 minus 4 2 so it is 2800 so estimated sum is 11400 estimated difference is 2800 okay so that was question 2 now moving on to question number 3 a1 so what let's see what is question number 3 round off to nearest tens and hundreds and estimate the difference so they are telling tens and hundreds so first we will find estimated difference by rounding off to nearest tens then by rounding off to nearest hundred you will get the estimated difference for that so you have to find two separate answers here again we are not doing actual because they have not asked for it okay the first question is 3415 and 4236 so first what you will do here is round off the numbers to the nearest 10 okay so 3415 rounding out off to the nearest 10s so uh, we'll get see since first they have asked us to find difference okay first we'll see which is the larger number the larger number here is 4236 so we'll round that off and write that number first in the table so when you round of 4 to 3 6 to the nearest 10 6 being in 1's place and which is greater than 5 we'll add 1 to 10's place so it becomes 4 to 4 0 and 3415 becomes 3 4 2 0 because 5 is there in 1's place and it is uh, since we know that 5 or greater than 5 we add 1 to the tens place okay so 3 4 2 0 so when you subtract 4240 minus 3420 you will get 820 so estimated difference to nearest tens is 820 now estimated difference to the nearest hundreds okay so nearest hundreds will be 4236 okay so rounding it off to nearest hundreds you will get it the answer as 4000 200 and then 3415 rounding it off to nearest hundreds you'll get 3400 okay so subtracting these two you'll get 800 so 820 and 800 820 is estimated difference to nearest tens and 800 is the estimated difference to nearest hundreds all right then we have 27384 question b and 15813 so here the bigger number is 27384 so rounding it off to nearest tens you'll get 27380 so when you round it off you'll get 27380 then 15813 so following the same rules of rounding of numbers to nearest tens you'll get 15800 10. So when you subtract the two numbers, you'll get eleven thousand five hundred and seventy. Okay, eleven thousand five seventy. Then estimating dif reference to the nearest hundreds. So for that, we'll round off the numbers to the nearest hundreds. So twenty-seven thousand three eighty-four. Rounding it off to the nearest hundreds, you'll get twenty-seven thousand four hundred. Okay, and fifteen thousand eight hundred. When you round it off to nearest hundreds, you'll get fifteen thousand. 800 so when you find the difference of both the numbers you will get the answer as 11600 okay so nearest tens is 11570 and estimated difference of nearest hundreds is 11600 okay so then solving uh, last question 3c so 31529 and 8932 so to find the estimated difference here to the nearest 10 first we'll round off the numbers to nearest 10 so 31529 when you round it off it becomes 31530 okay and 8932 rounding it off becomes 8930 okay so when you find the difference between these two numbers you get 22600 all right and estimated difference to the nearest hundreds so when you uh so rounding it off to nearest hundreds 31529 becomes 21 31500 and 8932 when you round it off it becomes 8900 okay and when you find the difference between these two numbers you get 22600 okay so both the estimated difference for nearest 10 and nearest 100 here both are 22000 600 only both are same or equal all right so this was estimated sum and difference
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर विच इज देयर इज फॉर योर होमवर्क सो कंप्लीट दैट फॉर योर होमवर्क इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास विल कंटिन्यू विथ वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स थैंक यू